Oh man, it's heavy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be selling this and shipping that. Hey all, it is Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. This haul is actually from a brand new place that just opened up about a month ago. And I've been there twice, and I think I've gotten some pretty decent things. Their prices are really good. Like, a lot of the vendors that I see at other vendor malls are at this location too, which is great. And overall, everyone has stuff that's priced really, really reasonably. Some people have some higher priced items, but you gotta do that to bring in the crowd to see all your stuff that's not so highly priced, if that makes any sense. So the last time that I was there, I spent about $33. And this is from the last two times that I went. So this is a combination of my two trips there. And I wish I had my receipt, because I think I went there in October at some point. And I did apply for a job at this place. They have not called me back yet. And they did just expand about four days ago, so I'm not going to really push it too hard. If you get what I mean, like, next time I go there, I'll probably end up asking about it or just not bring it up and let them bring it up to me to see if they'll take me in. Because as you all know, I am really starting to get tired of being where I am now. And I just want a change of scenery and I want to be able to do my live sales and I want to do my YouTubing and I want to do my eBay and my Amazon. I want to try to do that a little bit more, but still have something coming in each week. So, yeah, that's my story if you all haven't heard it. So the first thing that you're looking at is a really cool clock. It almost looks like a barn door to me, doesn't it? Like 1960s, 1970s is when I think that this clock is from. It has the West Clock's electric symbol there, made in U.S. I like the hands on it because it it just it's kind of like bent or kind of like a swirl. This cost me, it was $7, and it was 20% off, I believe. It was either 20% or 10%, one of the two. So I think I end up spending probably $5.60 if it was 20%, and then $6.30 if it was 10%. I have a feeling it was 20 But I just think it is super, super cool. We've got... A copy of the 1967 movie The Graduate. Uh, it was $2.95. Originally from a store called FYE, if you all aren't familiar with that. For your entertainment, they're probably all over the country. And I remember we were talking about this. I think it was a trivia question at Fatford Finds is Flippin' and Sippin'. And I think right after I'd watched that, I went to this shop and I saw this movie for the $2.95. So I was like, you know what? Let me take a chance and see how good this is. It is from 67. It has Dustin Hoffman and Anne Bancroft in it, so hopefully it's a good film, and if not, oh well. I only wasted three bucks. Found a really cool planter with Scotty Dogs on it. No cracks or chip, based on that sound. I only spent, I'm sure this was on sale, $3.95 for it. I would assume it was probably a Japan piece, but that'll definitely end up in a sale. I was super, super bummed to find out after un I unwrapped this that it has some chips on it. But it is uh, mercury, gl mercury glass, uranium glass. I think this is the princess house pattern. I can't remember. Vintage and vinyl. If you're watching this, you're going to have to quote me on that, but it's got that really neat, like, etched pattern in there. I don't know if it's pressed. I think it's pressed, not etched, sorry. 
and it's got some chips around the rim. Um, I don't think this is probably worth selling online or putting in a sale because of the damage. Uh, I might just send this to Vintage and Vinyl and she can do something with it. Maybe sand it down to get rid of the... Sh I don't think it's sharp. I think it, there's just some chips on it. It's not sharp at all. This could be Fostoria or it could be by Indiana Glass. I, I don't know my uranium glass all that well. I don't know glassware that well at all in general. But the pattern on it was kind of neat and ornate and fancy. And I know that that tickles some of you all's fancies, kind of like Pinup does to me. But it does glow, and it has a really distinct glow. I'll have to find my black light. It's in this madness somewhere. And then I'll uh, snap a photo or two, and then I'll post it at the end of this video. So that was only a buck. Originally, I think they had three fifty on it, and then because of the damage, they just marked it down to a dollar. And I got excited and didn't check the piece for damage until I just unwrapped it now, about a month later. So I got a really nice... Prussia, RS Prussia dresser tray. It was only one dollar. Couldn't believe that. So that'll probably end up in a sale if it's not worth anything on eBay, which we'll see. So there is the RS Prussia mark. That very much appeals to the shabby chic lovers, or if you do a mixture of shabby chic farmhouse, this would look fantastic with your vignette or your decor. I don't think that this glows, but I did think it was a really good price at two dollars. It's one of those little baskets. I don't think it's Fenton because it doesn't have a mark on it. Uh, there's no Ponsel, so it's not hand blown. It could be or very well be a modern piece, but I don't know, maybe that'll just go in a live sale for a little bit of money. Just a little bit more than what I spent, if I can't find anything on it. It is ruffled, so it might be Fenton, but I could be wrong, because I'm not always right about everything. These were super cute. I couldn't resist these for $2. It's some Monk Salt and Pepper Shakers. And yes, I did pay 2 bucks for them. I thought that that was a really good price. Uh, they are made by Inesco. Is it focusing? If not, sorry. Inesco Imports Japan. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet. I might look them up and see if they're worth anything, and if not, they'll probably end up in a live sale. I love this. And even though it's not worth a lot, I'm definitely keeping it for myself. It's a vintage ring holder. No markings, probably Hong Kong is my best guess, so probably from the 1960s. And he's got rhinestone eyes. He was only two bucks. I couldn't say no to that. So I will be keeping him and probably putting him in my bathroom, maybe. Or maybe I'll put him out of Halloween. If I don't break him. So this chef was only two dollars. And she looks angry. She looks like... You better eat what I'm about to serve, and if you don't, you're going to go hungry. Let me see if she has any markings on her. Yep, she's got Japan on the bottom of her. But I, th I liked her. I just liked her face. Either she's angry or she's really excited about what she's serving. One of the two. I found this B... I, I don't know if this is for honey or if it's for tea. It was only $2. It's green, so this would look great with spring. No markings to say who made it. Um, there is some slight damage up at the top. I don't know if that's just paint wear or like fl uh, flaw from the manufacturer or what. Uh, this does come out, and I believe there is cork on it. I think this might be it for honey, because why would this be a beehive, and it not be for honey. So that'll more than likely go in a live sale, maybe. I don't know if I'll do it now, like in a future upcoming sale, or wait till springtime, because I know this will probably sell well with people who are... or sell well during the spring when these kinds of colors are trending. 
So this little girl was in the same spot that the cat ring holder was in. And she was only $2 as well. It looks like she's holding a spear, but I think she's a Christmas ornament. I would assume she's probably Japanese made, because that's when a lot of our ornaments were made overseas. At least these kinds anyway, like the pixies and stuff like that. I know a lot of the gra grass ornaments. The glass ornaments were made here in the U.S., the shiny bright ones. But I thought she was definitely unique, and I've never seen anything like her before. So I will definitely be enjoying her. We've got this really neat thimble, and I've never seen an Americana thimble before. He was $5, but I think I'm going to add him to my junk jar because I love stuff like this. And it's just fun to look at it in a jar full of a bunch of old, smaller things that get lost easily and be like, that's interesting, never seen that before. No markings to say who made it, but it was five bucks. And I thought that that was well worth it. I did look them up and they're going for about eight to 10. So to have to pay half that and then not have to pay shipping, I thought that that was a very fair price. So this is a good housekeeping book from October of 1940. I did pay, it was about $7.95, so what is that, $18.99 is $18, so about a buck fifty-eight off, so I paid $6.37 for this, which I think is fair. There's a lot of great ads in here, this is just one of them. You guys know I'm a sucker for vintage ephemera. Now that may have been a little much for what I paid for this, but... I was finding stuff left and right, so I was like, okay, I'll just go ahead and I'll pay up for this. Because I think it's cool. And I looked through it real quick, too, and there's some really great stuff in here. I wish I could share it with you all, but you know how that is. It would take a long time just to go through this magazine. And the last item, well, the last smaller item, I should say, is something that is really, really cool. I did pay $6 for it. It is pure lemon extract, probably from the 20s, as the tag says. And what's so funny is, I mean, if this is truly from 1920 or from the 1920s, this is over 100 years old. And the lemon scent, it kind of smells like it's fermented, if you get what I mean. Like, it just kind of smells like alcohol. But after you get used to the smell of the alcohol, you start to smell the lemon, which is, it was so, f not funny, but it was just strange to smell it because it's almost a century old. And for it to smell just like lemon, as it probably did years and years ago, is quite phenomenal. So I don't know if I'll be putting this in my junk jar. More than likely I will because I don't want it to spill or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, let me take it out of the packaging real quick. Because I really liked the graphics of the box and of the bottle itself. I mean, and it's completely full. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using it. But it is still a really, really neat piece. And if you display, like, old kitchen tins and kitchen bottles... This would be a great addition to your collection. Now this I am going to be keeping because lemon is my favorite citrus scent. And I just love the look of this bottle. And they do go for about 10 bucks online. So I paid less than what it would cost me to... You know, well, that plus shipping, so I didn't have to pay the shipping. I do kind of wish that I would have waited to buy this because that booth went half price the second time I went. But that's okay, you know, with those places, you really gotta buy it when you see it, because if you don't and you leave it, someone else might come by and snatch it. So I thought that was really cool. And yeah, so that is all of the smaller stuff. And let me show you my favorite item that I picked up. Well, I love all this stuff, but you get what I mean. The bigger item, and probably the coolest. And the last item I would like to share with you all from this haul is this awesome green fish planter. I remember just scouring the shelves at this place and I saw this in the corner of my eye going down one of the rows and I was like, oh, I can't wait to get down to that end and look at that. And I was expecting it to be like 30 or 40 or 50 bucks. 
it was only six dollars six bucks for this awesome planter now oh man it's heavy yeah i'm not gonna be selling this and shipping that because that would cost an arm and a leg however it is still a really cool piece and for six bucks it was definitely coming home with me now as you can see he does have some condition issues he's got a chip right here and he does have a chip on his fin but overall i love his colors and he is just fantastic now let me show you all what the bottom looks like so it has some letters down here and it's got a $35 price tag and it says EA, which I assume means each. I did ask the shop owner if he thought that this was old because at first I didn't. And then, you know, he looked at it and he said, you know, this is not like how you see pottery made nowadays, like the factory stuff. Or maybe it is a factory piece, but the glazing and the colors are just so cool. And it's textured too, so like if I run my hands over his scales, you can feel that. Like they just don't make that kind of stuff anymore. I don't know who made him. I don't think it's Hager, but it is pretty cool. I did see one of these, not this one specifically, but it had sailfish and had waves and it was at the Fayetteville Antique Mall and they wanted 20 bucks, which, you know, wasn't bad, but... I wasn't crazy crazy about it had it been what this one was priced at I probably would have snatched it but you know I love this piece and I like the fact that it's heavy duty so if I decide to put it on a table or put it somewhere I know it's not gonna come crashing down so that is my antique store haul for today let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite item that I picked up? So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. All of the links to my social media accounts via Instagram are down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon! Bye, guys.